Hey, welcome back everybody. Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, tonight is a big night for the lottery. We have a big Powerball tonight. Tonight, the Powerball is $1.725 billion, with a B, for the jackpot. And here in California, if you were to take the lump sum, uh, one-time lump sum payment, which is, if, if I were to, to do it, if I were to win, that's what I would be doing. Uh, the lump sum is seven hundred. $56,600,000. So with that, here uh, is what you'll actually end up with. So if you took the lump sum, that is $756,600,000. That's a lot of money. And then the uh, government's going to want their portion for their capital gains uh, and uh, the lottery will automatically take out uh, 24 to 25% of that uh, and forward that uh, towards your tax liability of actual 38%. So 38% of uh, your three quarters of a billion dollars uh, is going to go to the government, just the United States government, uh, just for taxes. So the taxes you're looking at uh, 287 million five hundred and eight thousand dollars that's what your tax liability would be uh, at the end of the year uh, and, and like I said uh, yeah, and this is where a lot of people get in the trouble because uh, they don't understand all the taxes and, and the liabilities that that come with uh, handling that kind of money uh, I handled that kind of money uh, with my business, uh, and, and so it's not a big deal to me. And, and right now, even uh, the money that I have for my income is doesn't come directly to me. It actually uh, goes into a trust, and, and that trust uh, uh, allows me to draw uh, and uh, uh, everything that uh, is uh, purchased, uh, is do documented, recorded, uh, and taxed properly. Uh, and I don't have to uh, do that. That's up to my, the staff that oversees the trust. And the, the staff that oversees the trust, uh, there's an accountant, there's a, a, an attorney, uh, uh, so that uh, um, we don't have any uh, anything going wrong with that. And, and that's to protect me uh, uh, from... Uh, people that may want to try and get hold of uh, any money. And so that's what I would recommend to anybody. Don't uh, uh, turn your lottery ticket in if you uh, get your lottery ticket uh, like this. Uh, do not, do not turn it in the next day. Uh, what you want to do is seek out a, uh, an attorney uh, that uh, is uh, for trust uh, or foundations or even a 501, uh, if that's uh, something that would be in your future. For me, uh, it and, and the, there, there are positives and negatives with everything. And, and for me, because of things happening so so quickly, we moved uh, to establish the, the blind trust. And then the blind trust uh, takes in the money and pegs out, pays out the taxes and, and is overseen and, and uh, as accounting. Um, uh, annual accounting uh, records that I get to uh, review, but uh, if something like that, if you were to, to win uh, the lottery like uh, tonight, uh, you would want to put it into at least a trust, uh, or uh, and then with the trust, the the thing is it, it does hide your identity, uh, and, and so uh, that's one way to hide your identity uh, from the general public. Uh, and, and there's nothing illegal on it. Uh, and, and that's about the only way that you can uh, uh, remain somewhat anonymous uh, uh, in the California version of uh, Powerball tonight. So anyway, uh, what you would end up with as your final total 
would be short of half a billion dollars. So you would have 469 million ninety two thousand dollars left uh, after you paid all your tax liabilities uh, and, and then hopefully the first thing you do is pay off all your bills and then uh, go from there so for me uh, uh, if I were to win that uh, I would put it into uh, the trust and then the trust uh, uh, we're setting up a foundation right now with a 501c attachment and, and so that takes time and there's also a board of directors so that I don't uh, oversee uh, a lot of that or any of that uh, I just fund it and, and so uh, the money will go into the trust uh, uh, if we have the foundation established uh, you know, by the 180 day uh, time limit for uh, if I were to win this we'll see but uh, I would be investing that money back in Oakland. Uh, I wouldn't be spending it on me. I don't. I've had an incredible life already. Uh, I've lived a life of a very uh, uh, comfortably uh, financed uh, person, and also I've lived the life of a uh, of a homeless person. You know, I've been on both ends of the spectrum. Uh, I don't need to prove anything. Uh, my my housing situation right now is very comfortable. Uh, I don't need a lot of space. I don't need a, a typical home even. Uh, one of my dreams uh, still is to uh, purchase a, a solar-powered uh, yacht. Uh, that would be uh, the Solar 62 or, Sil or Silent 60 um, or uh, Solar 62. Solar Wave 62 uh, are the two uh, catamaran uh, liveaboards that uh, are 100% solar powered, and so I would uh, purchase something like that for me to live in and live on, and then I would uh, purchase uh, a dock space over in Emeryville because Emeryville is the only site here in the Bay Area that actually has is uh, uh, exempt from uh, BCDC because this was established long ago and approved by BCDC board by then. And this is uh, a floating uh, HOA, a and you you can either rent or purchase uh, the your berth where your uh, liveaboard boat is going to be. And so that's what I would be looking at with that kind of money. Uh, but who knows what would happen? And then also uh, after I, I took care of the housing situation, then uh, the uh, aquaculture business would get a, a big infusion. Uh, and then also we would be able to secure a lot of property uh, to uh, really make the business uh, take off. And then on top of that, uh, I, I looked at uh, the part of the 501C, uh, that would be overseeing the community land trust that uh, would be in place. Uh, and we'd be purchasing up property to help uh, with the uh, uh, housing situation here in Oakland. So. A lot of a lot of things uh, can be uh, solidified here if uh, I were to win the uh, lotto. And, and like I said, you know that's a lot of money um, to not have. If you think about it, uh, the the jackpot being one point seven billion dollars, and then after taxes and uh, the lump sum, you end up with less less than a, a third of that uh, you're at 469 million but that's still nothing this stays at uh, and, and so uh, it's a windfall and, and I would not uh, poo poo on on that anyway but uh, if uh, you have your lottery tickets good luck people if you don't have your lottery tickets yet you have until uh, 7 30 this evening I believe it is uh, here California Pacific uh, daylight time to get your lottery tickets uh, and, and good luck. We'll see you next time.